Okay, my name is Samuel Marshall, and for my FMP, I done a documentary about RC cars, and I explored into um, asking my friend or my brother um, because I did have problems with like um, locations and stuff like that and time and having the wrong mic and stuff like that. So I do my brother, but um, anyways. Basically, it was about talking about the basics of RC cars, what you need to know to, like, um, like, quite a lot of people know, have no idea anything, um, that people have RC cars, what they have to do, like, maintenance and stuff like that, and, you know, it's really important to, like, keep, like, take care of your RC car and stuff like that, so that's basically what I talk about in my documentary. Um, <clears throat> so... This is some of my stuff from Survey Monkey. Um, I asked like questions like how much do you know about the RC car community? You know, bought one. Um, some people did actually say no, so that suggested that you know they might have been a bit older, and you know, obviously it, the target audience is aimed sort of to like the teens to like lower than that as well because you know a lot of people see it as like toys and stuff like that so but then they when they see this documentary you know people realize that it's not actually about like it's RC cars aren't just toys they are real you know they're they're, they're real things they're you know have to really take care of them they, and they can actually be quite dangerous so you know just ask basic questions um, like would this documentary work in your eyes um, I had my one of my friends do that one. Um, he was the same age as me, and he knows a lot about RC cars. And um, you know, he said it might work, so that's good to see that as well. And which like styles of RC cars um, people would buy? Um, so you could see a lot of people. Well, two people said off road, which is the desired one for most um, people in the RC car community, and then toy grade. Um, which is what majority of people would actually choose if more people took my survey. Um, so let's look at what happened. Okay, let's see what people said. Let's see what people said about my documentary as a whole. So majority of people, three people said it was good. One person said it was alright and then another person said it could have been better. But um, the main thing is these, so like suggestions to like improve my documentary. So I think that like personally myself, that I could have done a lot better. Like if I had the time, I could like do my own like shots and stuff like that, and film all brand new shots and not take it from my from my um, YouTube channel that I have that I film with my friend um, that we do RC car videos on. We make like a montage of them. Um, and I used those and I, like, I had to download them and the quality was very poor so you know it didn't look as appealing as I wanted to actually come up as but you know people say like um, add more things to it yeah like it would have made it a lot more interesting if I had like the shots that I wanted and like you know yeah, it's alright RC cars racing each other um, concept all the people seem to like it so you know, it started off as like people as as I thought. I thought, oh, no one's gonna really the target audience is gonna be quite young, but it ended up being, you know, fairly wide of a range. Um, and the editing, quite a lot of people liked it. Some person said it was wasn't that bad, which um, I agree on there. Um, okay, so moving on to my. Um, other stuff. So my um, my cool sheet. Oh god! One second. Okay, so my cool sheet. I do have to change, obviously, here because. It was originally my friend, but then obviously because of 
stuff that happened. Like I got the wrong mic, had to go and buy a new mic, and he didn't have enough time in the day to um, stay on location. He got bored and he just went home, basically. Um, but yeah, I'd done a test shoot before I filmed with him, but his like battery for his RC car didn't work. And I originally have an RC car in my room, but um, it's pretty like bad. But then I did actually end up using that for the final thing. And if I just been like, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll just film that, and it, you know, I could have, I could have finished the filming and editing so much, so much earlier. Um, so yeah, I did use the Zoom H1 handy recorder. It was a really good mic, but the end product didn't really come out very well because, firstly, I didn't hand my mic to my brother, so it was echoey and the sound sounded a bit, sounded a bit bad, and then also. The, um, what was it, the mic, uh, the opposite, I was too close, so it was like popping noises and genuine, like sort of louder in volume than the rest of the um, stuff. Um, yeah, basic stuff like you can get a bus from Arnis Grove, the 298, Potter's Bar Station, all that stuff. Um, yeah, and it was quite hard outside as well, it was like, almost, it was when it was like, heat wave sort of thing so it was like almost 30 degrees so it was quite hot so we had to make sure we weren't out there for very long but um, it didn't take too long to do it um, health and safety RC car could hit someone that was what originally what, what it could be health and safety but the health and safety was like nothing really because my RC car was really slow because um, it's bad and it was originally meant to be my friend's RC car which goes like I think it's like 40 miles an hour that links into how dangerous RC cars are as well and they're not just basic little toys that, you know, kids would get and stuff like that. Um, right, let's go to my reflective journal. Okay, so... Right. So, you know, I really tried to, like, write as much as I could, like, each day. Um, and, yeah, this bit was... Um, I was going to use this mic, but I just it didn't really end up working because everyone, again, everyone booked the mics and, you know, with linking into everyone booking the mics, that just slowed my whole project down and, you know, it just didn't really end up how I wanted it to be, basically. Um, I talk about how I went to buy a store called Maplin and then my camera didn't work, so... and stuff like that, and... It was good. It was lucky that my brother was actually interested in RC cars and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I got feedback from B, and she said that I had to change my edit because it was quite boring, to be honest. Um, but I didn't really see that from my surveys, um, survey monkey comments and stuff like that. Yeah, again, because no one really answered them, and you know, it wasn't like it wasn't like proper feedback. And because I edited at home. Um, cause I needed to edit, like I wanted to edit home cause I could do everything really quickly. It didn't, it didn't really end up that way. It took me quite a while to edit. Um, I had to buy my own program and yeah, I should have just edited at college and it would have made, you know, this whole thing a lot easier. But yeah, that's my presentation on my, um, for my documentary, from FMP. Um, it's called RC Card Journey and yeah, that's it.